Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get all the updates. We have today's video, the Beer's Courtesy Hot Butcher for the World. Thanks so much, guys. I really appreciate it. So this is Greenfly, uh, Waimea, I believe is how you pronounce it, uh, and Simcoe Hopped Double IPA, 7.5% ABV, and just over one month at time of review. Proper glassware, so you know it's going to taste better. Uh, I won't look at the tasting notes until I give my thoughts, and I think that's everything I'm supposed to say at this point. Oh, nope, I did forget something. Awesome can art, as always, by Dan Jetsa. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, it definitely looks like, you know, hazy New England style IPA. It's got a good amount of orange. It almost looks like grapefruit juice. Um, probably, yeah, just under a finger of manila-ish head tiny bubbles then some regular small bubbles looks beautiful almost like you know what that grapefruit juice fair enough or like approaching butternut squash in color uh anyway let's get into the aroma very fruity huh but like like, like um herbaceous greens I'm gonna land on that for now it's a little like wow this is interesting it's a little like um well I get lemongrass but anyway it's like fruit potpourri so it's like this like hybrid floral it's interesting floral and, and fruit but yeah, definitely a little bit of yeah, like a lemongrass. The Simcoe's adding a little bit of like a, It's like there's this lemongrass and a little bit of like green onion. It's not full on like cat pee or anything, but there is like a little bit of... Uh, I'll, I'll use the word heft uh, to it. A little bit of grapefruit. I'm trying to like... Because it, again, it's like this potpourri you know f fruit hybrid so it's it's interesting it's kind of hard actually to to put into words but a little bit of grapefruit apple lemon white wine almost like how you get from like nelson's you know it's almost a nelson sometimes but almost like nelson always it smells like <laughs> smells fantastic, but also smells different, which I really appreciate. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. Thanks again, Hot Butcher. Yeah, I like the aroma. This taste is really cool. Um, and different. Uh, so, yeah, you get like... Yeah, wow. You know what? Let me do another sip. Yeah, so I get the citrus for me. Yeah, it's like grapefruit, lemon, lemon um, zest a little bit, <clears throat> little bit of honeydew melon. There's a weedy element. Yeah, grapefruit pith in the finish for sure. It, it is like this floral green hybrid for me anyway man berry like a almost like a candied blueberry a little cotton candy like the blue uh, blue raspberry kind wow you know what reminds me of uh, cotton candy grapes because you do get a little bit of like that grapey thing too but some bitterness like I was saying some heft a little bit of garlic green onion yeah, this is really good and again it's it's one of my favorite things about this I'll break it out it's been a while 
drink a lot of beers like this. Sometimes it's hard to like super differentiate them. Um, but yeah, uh, does it taste good? Yes. Does it drink like a beer? Yes. Um, and then the last one, which is usually the hardest one, is there something unique about it? Emphatically, yes. All right, let's see what they have to say. Uh, bright tropical candied mango juicy tangerine. So our notes very different. Um, the juicy tangerine. I mean, I got different kinds of citrus for sure. Candied mango. Although I get candied elements, like you know, I mentioned cotton candy. Then I went to like cotton candied grapes. Um, the bright tropical. It doesn't scream tropical to me. Again, I got like a little bit of like a melon uh, as an example. I'll say like fruit salad, period. I, I won't even designate if it's like um, like tropical or just fruit in general. But it is, I like the candy because there is a good amount of sweetness to this beer. With some bitterness, you know, you're drinking a beer. But there is a, a lot of sweetness. So like the fruit, or fruit for me anyway, fruity notes candied I, I like that qualifier so I, I am on board with that but that, it, interesting and one things one of the reasons i really wanted to review this beer today is i see some of my beer tube buddies i posted reviews of this and i really want to watch their reviews and see what they have to say so now i'm even more excited to watch their reviews uh because my tasting notes were so different from the back of this can uh have you had this beer before uh have you had these hops combined together before uh you want to just tell me something completely unrelated comment section below let's get a conversation going once you're done doing that, make sure you check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews of both those places. So please, please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, almost finished this beer. Cheers. <laughs>